Welcome to a very special episode of One Bourbon, One Scotch, and One Beer with my cousin Roger Allen Wade. And, <laughs> and today we're shooting no bourbon, no scotch, and no beer. Uh, Cuz just got sober for the first time in uh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> just got out of the nut house. <laughs> so, uh, instead of booze, we got water. Willie Nelson spring water. Oh, yeah, Willie Nelson spring water right here. <laughs> How are you, cuz? Doing wonderful, man. Just uh, glad to be here. First time I've ever been in Jackass World sober, and it is a pleasant experience. <laughs> oh, man. Got you a new shirt? Yeah, man. This is brand new. First new clothes I had in a while. and uh, This is the first guitar you never hawked, too. Yeah, this is still, uh, the hawk on it is uh, 450. <laughs> And I done checked that out, but this is this is one you sent me. I put gut strings on it for going to Austin just to honor Willie, and so it sounds like hell. But man, I, I, this is one thing I'll never hop. Man, this, I hope you know how much this means to me. And all, all jokes aside, I just this is my this is everybody's got their guitar. You know, Waylon had the one that leather tool thing, and Willie's got trigger and everything like that. And I have all my life been through guitars. Johnny Cash even gave me one that didn't mean you know it was just. You just a, that one too, huh? A piece of wood and steel, man. But this is, this is family heirloom, man. I just, I adore this guitar, and now I got to learn to play it. But you but, still checked out the hawk on it. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Man, uh, I just, you'll hear it when we start picking. And now you've been touring. This is kind of your first tour of the country ever, really. I mean, Sober. I know you tried a few years ago, and after a few shows. Uh, that kind of that tour, you know, didn't do. Yeah, they get, they had out on one sign um, uh, appearing tonight. Roger Allen Wade, if he makes it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some shots there. Those days are done. Did they really have that on the sign? Yeah, yeah. The sad part of it, it was true at the time. I guess you weren't realize. the best about showing up. No, no, I had other things took priority. <laughs> but now, man, them days are done. Hell, should we? Uh, we can talk a little more, but you want you want to. You want to pick one? Yeah, man. I'm, uh, this is uh, this got your dad in it. Uh, this is no song I wrote because you know I, we all love Waylon. I don't know if anybody loves Waylon anymore than you and I do. And it was just man back in them days, you know, the whole world looking through you. And just uh, I was just nineteen year old white trash kid. Nobody even knew you was alive. And just uh, they took me to see old Waylon one time, and from that second on, I knew what I was going to do. I went and got a guitar the next day and still ain't learned to play it, but this is this is about those days, man. It's called the first time I saw Waylon. I shoplifted an eight-track tape from JC Penney's when I was young. One called the Silver Tongue Devil by the great Christopherson. I caught Bob Dylan on that Johnny Cash TV show. Turn me on to Willie Nelson with nowhere's left to go. Till that first time I saw Waylon at Memorial Auditorium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That first time I saw Waylon, Elvis and the Beatles didn't mean a damn thing. saw that look in my eye said the boy will never work another day in his life a telecaster chicken picking rhythm just sent me sailing that first time I saw Waylon singing those Billy Joe Shaver song that first time I saw Waylon Turned around and I was gone. Then my uncle saw that look in my eye, said the boy will never work another day in his life. I tell the caster chicken picking rhythm to send me sailing. That first time. Stringy hair and barely hanging on. 
on that first time I saw Waylon. Then I turned around and he was gone. Long gone. Hey, your dad told me something. All right. We played up there in Gatlinburg and then um, I was working at a milk factory, a dairy. He called it a milk factory and he said, Boy, I told him on. Um, that boy will never work another day in his life. And he well, it burned down, right? The milk yeah. factory burned down. He accused me of burning it, but I never <laughs> did. But that, um, that's what it's been ever since, man. I um, never looked back. And now, now just getting past all these other things that got in the way of the music, um, it's just fun again. And I want to thank all the jackass boys and the youth, especially for sticking with me through all that. Because I know I wasn't much of a friend or a cousin or nothing else, but now I can That's make it all up. True. 